Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are officially a part of the YouTube partner program. So, you know, another milestone hit on the channel. It is now more important than ever for you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the videos out. I'm going to put do a huge push for that because now we have the potential to grow to a point to where I can do this full time, where I can have, instead of doing uh, possibly two to three videos a day, I can do three to five videos a day. I can get... I can make sure I have my PC good and up and going and get you two streams a day. But we got to make sure that we're liking all the videos, that we're sharing them, that we're subscribed to the channel so that, you know, our, our platform can continue to grow. In other news, we continue our daily roasting of the Velma TV series. Let's get into it. What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up on uh, time, you know, we've talked about how woke the Velma series is supposed to be. Uh, we've talked about, you know, Mindy Kaling and her secret, uncontrollable desire for a white man, despite hating on white men in all her shows. But one thing we didn't talk about was how disgusting the show actually is. The show is gross on a level of, of the fact that these these main characters, you know, Velma, uh, uh, Norville, Fred, and Daphne are like freshmen in high school, right? They're like 15, 16 years old. Yet, there's constantly naked scenes of these children in this show. And now we've reached a new low. Scooby-Doo spinoff series has Velma pole dance for her father as the series becomes the worst rated anime show ever on IMDb. Pole dancing for her father. This is a 15-year-old girl pole dancing for her father. Let's, let's, let's see what the article has to say. Uh, the Scooby-Doo spinoff series Velma produced by actress Mindy Kaling continued to rile up viewers with more sexual content this week as it officially became the worst rated anime show. Uh, the fifth and sixth episodes of the series were, le were released on Thursday and contained the usual woke content with one especially egregious scene. Episode 6, titled The Sins of the Fathers and Some of the Mothers, focused primarily on the titular character attempting to reconnect her with her distant father to help her locate her missing mother. They start by meeting up at an old diner. They frequent it to only have it revealed that it has become a uh, strip club named Nana's Nipples. Various, various stripper poles, uh, pole dance around the diner though Velma's father pays them and his daughter no attention. Instead, he obsesses over work. After he leaves to take a phone call, Velma decides the best way to evoke a response from her dad is to pole dance herself. I'm doing what every girl is doing up here. I'm just trying to get my dad's attention. You know, admittedly, she's on the right track. I mean, I don't know if they're necessarily trying to get their dad's attention, but they do say, you know, uh, uh, dads keep uh, their daughters off stripper poles. So they keep their sons out of jail and keep their daughters off of stripper poles. So I suppose neither her father nor her, the other uh, patrons are amused with one man moaning. Oh, yeah. Keep it all on. And another saying, show me nothing, baby. Bro, this show is so garbage. Uh, the previous episode came under fire for joking about sexualizing teen kids, particularly due to the fact that the titular character is a high school, is in high school and a lesbian. In episode four, Velma joked, "Our whole lives, our whole lives, girls are told by guys that that there's a right way to be hot, and I'm not it. Guys even teach us to be ashamed of our own bodies. Every little kid knows how to draw a penis, but make a little kid draw a vagina, and what happens? What the fuck is she talking about?" Kids knew how to draw kids knew how to draw dicks because most of the artists, most of the artists were boys. Very rarely did you see young girls drawing in class. And every little boy knows what a dick looks like because he has one. What are you talking about? And, 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 and the reason why nobody knew how to draw a damn vagina like that was because they were protected. You wasn't supposed to see that until you was of a particular age 
And, and, and even if you saw it, you didn't see it enough to where you would be able to draw it, no problem. Well, now we got Pornhub and all this stuff. So now kids are coming out the womb drawing it. So whatever. Um, this show is garbage. <laughs> Just another report on how garbage this show continues to be. It's disgusting. The over the over sexualization of children. And, it, you know, it's funny because Mindy Kaling is one of those people who would absolutely report somebody for uh, sexual misconduct. But yet she's producing a show that's sexualizing children in a way, sexualizing a, a, a child by making her dance on a pole in front of her father. What are we doing? But, you know, if she was to report somebody up there for a sexual misconduct, I'm pretty sure that person would get fired, even though she gets to sexualize children. I mean, look at their face. And, and mind you, she has on a skirt. She has on a skirt. Ladies and gentlemen, she has on a skirt. And they're looking like, what the hell is going on? First of all, why is she even allowed in the strip club? She's, uh, whatever. Uh, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think. Talk to y'all later. Let's go, let's go. Hey, hey. Beat that thing down like you started a tantrum, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby. Oh. Slide to the